Welcome here to Dedon Resort. Today is day two here. Uh, we checked in yesterday and just an absolute dream to be here. So to start off the day, we're gonna get some breakfast here and everything is fresh, organic, amazing food. So a second ago, I was putting on my new camera lens and then all of a sudden, I just like popped it off and threw it right into my omelet. <laughs> like omelet got inside the lens. So if you're seeing egg right now, it's, it's inside the lens. It's 9.30, we got our boat lined up to go and do some island exploring. We're gonna be checking out the main islands, the main to-dos here in Shargao, whether you're staying here at Dead On Resort or whether you're staying outside. If you do the island hopping, these are the main islands you'll be seeing. I'm super stoked because I've seen some highlights of it. We're gonna make some cinnies for the boys, some cinematics. This is crazy. I didn't expect this. No. I was like, oh, there's probably a chair. Nah, something way better. Inside the egg. And so begins the great adventure. Our heroes leave the safety of their abode in search of adventure. Where will this adventure take our heroes, you may ask? Well that, that is to be decided by Mother Nature, the winds, the waves, and the boat driver. So right now we're going to the back of the resort where they have these mangroves and that's where they park the boat. We've been told we're using their fastest motorboat today. Jamie and I are used to taking these like private little bancas, which are basically like canoes with motors strapped onto them. So even if it's their slowest boat, I'm sure it'll be just fine. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. Whoa, look at this boat. This is amazing. What's upstairs? It's a view on, also it's a nice view for during uh, sunset watching. Oh, okay. Word of the day, banca. <laughs> Apparently I already knew it. I thought Banka just related. Nice I thought it was just for the small boats, but even motorboats like this one are called the it's called the Banka. Oh my gosh, an abandoned yacht. Found you a new video. Abandoned catamaran. So this boat has a wheel on it. If they need to turn it on, they can activate the wheel and it helps pull the boat along through shallow areas, which is I've never heard of that first of all. This resort, they've got it all. So the resort has given us SPF 100. I've never seen that in my entire life. And I just feel like saying, hey, you know, son, friggin' try me today, man. I dare you, SPF 100. All right, guys, welcome to Naked Beach. Yo, Sam, how pompous are we? We got our umbrella, our seats. <laughs> this is a little cheeky. We don't need this, this is unnecessary, but it's, it's fun. <laughs> Everyone's just showing up on their boats and we're like, I'll be in the shade with my recliner. <laughs> This is a good life. Thank you. Jamie's getting some fan photos down there. Appropriately, inappropriately named is Naked Island. And as you can see, there is absolutely nothing to it other than a beautiful white sand beach surrounded by the incredible blue waters of the Philippines. But after a good 35, 40 minutes, it was time to head back on the boat because you start to cook pretty quick. All right, we're gonna go for a little dippy dip with the boys. See if we can see anything, we probably won't, but uh, the water is very clear. Let's see if we can see turtles. No, you probably won't. <laughs> but maybe, maybe there'll be turtles. Snorkeling was mediocre to, to good. Um, made for a great little bathroom break. I'm gonna make this a competition that you guys can get involved with. You have to comment down below who did the best backflip. This is based purely on form, takeoff, landing, all the above. You decide. Don't be biased here, please. You don't have a chance, bro. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Loser. You only get one chance. There's no redos in this. Oh, one shot. It's one like life. <laughs> oh, that was actually his. That was, nice. that was your best backflip ever, which is a little unfortunate. Now I have to go. Yeah, you suck, Thanks, but... <laughs> Actually, it wasn't that bad, to be fair. But he always looks like he's on a bicycle whenever he does a backflip. <laughs> Who's was better? Christians. Comment down below. <laughs> So Your boat might be cool, but is it boat wheels cool? Think about it. Have you ever driven in a boat? 
I've never driven a boat before. Yeah. I didn't laugh that time. It's been proven. Yeah. <laughs> no, there it is. So this is Guyam Island, just a tiny little spit of land with a few very beautiful palm trees. I can see there's a nice little storm in the distance. And even a little further out, we saw surfers right in the middle of the ocean. So there's obviously a reef. What are your findings on the island? There's no bees, which is what I suspected. Um, yeah, because yeah. they're dying at an alarming rate. They're dying at an alarming rate. <laughs> there's, all these, there's all these cool little hermit crabs where you see them like everywhere. So I like, picked one up and it escaped. And they're multiplying that. at an alarming rate. They're multiplying, so maybe the, the two are kind of combined. Maybe that's the thing that the scientists haven't worked out yet. I don't know. We'll work Maybe out. that's the causation of the, the dying bees. <laughs> exactly. Hermit crabs are killing bees. You heard it here first. <laughs> you call, I fall. There's a legacy between us. I'm done being Russell Crowe for the day. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. After a very engaging conversation about the alarming rate at which bees are dying, we headed back in the boat and it was time to enjoy lunch in a hut on a beautiful private island with a few other people. Oh my gosh, what? Are we staying here for the next like three months? How much food did you bring? <laughs> there's wine, oh my gosh, this is incredible. We're stranded, send help. Oh, this is suffering. <laughs> I need to do something other than laugh every time the camera comes yeah. up. <laughs> oh. Okay. A little I'm giggle. Sorry. Laugh. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I can relate to like Russell Crowe right now, just like stranded on an island. Well said. Well done. Oh, thanks, bro. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to see. <laughs> I was like, I was like, which movie is this? I'm gonna see it. <laughs> we had like this fat meal. Now they brought out two fruit platters. They brought out cookies. They brought out banana loaf. I'm gonna die. And the last stop of the day was this Instagram goals of a place, also known as an overwater pagoda. It actually belongs to the resort and if you so please, you can be dropped off here to enjoy a nice read, maybe relax and hear nothing but the sound of the ocean. So we're trying to convince Sam to do a backflip here. He's never done it before. <laughs> You're gonna hit my tummy. You're gonna hit my tummy? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> no, it wasn't. That was a beautiful <laughs> belly flop. <laughs> I liked it though. That's You've conquered your fear. All right, we're back. Cold towels waiting. Honestly, I've never had the bar set so high on island hopping. <laughs> this is just too good. I'll never be able to go back. When we got back to the resort, I freshened up, did a whole lot of nothing, and later that night, I had one of the most incredible seafood dinners of my entire life. Hey man, what is you doing here? All the way on the grass? What the, what is he doing? Oh, he's alive. Okay, another romantic dinner with the lads. Hey, nice, nice merch, bro. Thanks. Where'd you cop it? What's your website? LostLeBlanc.com. LostLeBlanc.com. Thanks. I mean, cool. Have you seen Sam? I was a joke because of your hair. I could. Oh. <laughs> you look like a totally different person. I've got it here. I'm gonna put it up, but I just don't wear it down a little, a little Looks bit. Looks nice. Yeah. Nice flow. Lobster, crab, sea urchin, and a bunch of other amazing seafoods. Guys, this is just about the end of our time here in Shargao. One last sleep, and then in the morning, we're heading off to the airport. And with that being said, this is just about the end of my trip here with Jamie. Where is the guy? Where are you? There he is. <laughs> Dude, we crushed it this trip. Adventure, luxury, fun, laughter. And nature. And nature. <laughs> Always nature. And guys, if you have not already, make sure to go check out Jamie's stuff. I know his YouTube channel right now is empty, but there's stuff coming, especially once he gets home with these hard drives. He's going to do some work, put together some videos of his own, kind of put a unique spin on what you've already seen here. I'll be very curious to see myself what he does with it, so do something. I'll do something. Make though. it do something. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry. Videos are coming for all the people that are telling me to make videos. Yeah. They were coming. I was gonna make a joke like it might be 2018 thinking that's like two years away. Yeah, but that's literally, like it probably, probably will be. This hotel, resort, whatever you want to call it, this luxury experience is one of the best I've ever had. They have everything down to a T. The food, the service, the amenities. I could not have asked for a better two days here at the resort. Honestly, they are one in a million. I highly recommend that if you have the budget, come and check out Dedon Island Resort. You will not regret it if you can afford it. Good morning, guys. How you feel? <laughs> Start the day off with a good giggle, right? Yeah.
How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good man. I'm going to yeah. wish you guys it was good to get, get to know you both. It's been awesome, dude. And in the best place in the world. <laughs> yeah, literally, we've been so lucky. The staff have been so friendly. Wherever we see each other next, it's going to be such a letdown. <laughs> like, we're going to be in the real world, you know? And no, we'll make it work. Not unlimited massages and free food and... Oh. <laughs> Sam is the CEO of Unilad. If, <laughs> if you don't know who he is, because you didn't watch the previous videos. Sam, do your good work. Protect the bees. We're going to protect the bees. If every viewer of this um, just thinks a little bit more about the bees, then we're going to live in a better world. Yeah, leave a like if you want to save a bee. Leave a like if you love bees. They're dying at an alarming rate. <laughs> so alarming. <laughs> Alright, see you, man. See you in a bit, man. Right. Oh, we're going in style. We got the bus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best. I was hoping for this. Oh, yes. So good. Thank you very much, Sean. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you. Oh, okay. In the bus we go. See you later to the dead automobile. Time to get on a Cebu Pacific flight. Fly our way right back to Cebu. And from there, Jamie and I are going separate directions. I'm trying not to cry, but it's just, it's just so hard. Leg room for days. Sign is switched off. So Jamie's been put under arrest right as we're about to leave. Come on, Jamie. <laughs> it's been an incredible month. Dude, subscribe, hit the like button, whatever Jamie does. Be there to support him, show him love. Hopefully, we will see him very soon. He will be in Bali in January, so I think that's when I'll see you next, probably. 100%. So, I knew this was coming. I was overstaying my visa. I had a 30 day tourist visa, which you don't have to apply for. Speaking from a Canadian's perspective, depending on your country, it could differ. You have 30 days. And so I knew that my trip was gonna run two days longer, but I wasn't in any cities where I could easily go to a tourism office. So I did a little bit of research online. I took the chances that it was okay just to pay at the uh, airport here, and I can confirm that it seems to have been okay. I just paid 3,040 euros for overstaying my visa, and they basically just gave me the full new visa status, which is an extra 29 days. Maybe what I'm trying to get at is don't take my word on this, but if you're like, oh geez, I'm gonna overstay my visa, and are they gonna throw me in jail or penalize me with like super expensive fees? It doesn't seem like it. It was the exact same price I would have paid if I had gone to the tourism office and dealt with the immigration and all that boring stuff, so. Coming from the editing studio here, I wanted to end off today's video slightly differently. Item number one, I'm wanting to build a bit of a schedule here on the channel, as you probably noticed since day one. I've always just posted whenever I wanted, but I'm kind of leaning towards doing like a Sunday 8 a.m. kind of posting schedule where every day you know that you can log on to YouTube and get your video on that day. I would love to hear down below what days you guys enjoy to watch your YouTube on the most. Let me know and from there I'll be able to work a schedule that hopefully makes it easier to know when you can tune in to watch Los Leblanc. And there's actually another Philippines video, but our next destination is Singapore. I'm excited to hop there. If you're coming to the Philippines, I've actually made an entire travel guide. It's a video-based itinerary, so it'll actually show you whether you should go to Cebu, to Palawan, where are the best hidden gems, how to pack your bags. It's everything I know in here put into there. So if you want to check it out, if you want your entire stresses taken away and your itinerary perfected and optimized for you, then check the link down below. It's completely free. It's the five hot tips to the Philippines. It's a sample of the guide and it'll definitely be a great head start for your trip. Guys, if you made it this far, smash that thumbs up button and I'm really excited to show you an upcoming video that will be posted. I think it might be the next video. So on Wednesday or maybe Thursday, it's going to be a big one. That's all I got. Let's get lost again in the next one. Fan of the day.